Hey guys, Tarek with Cyclone FPV here, and today we're going to do a real short video on binding the uh, turning the evolution receiver, I mean, sorry, transmitter to the. Uh, oh, so you can't see what I'm looking at. I'm sorry. Let me, um, Kylie, I gotta not make these mistakes again, right? So let me start over. Okay, so here, now we've got a split screen here. So there's my big face, and what we're using is we're going to be doing the turning uh, evolution uh, transmitter with the eight channel uh, FlySky and turning turning uh, compliant uh, receiver that uses iBus. And we are going to use it on a uh, F3V4, but the way we do this is gonna to apply to all your other boards pretty much. So just pay attention to this one, it should be good. Um, one of the things that we're gonna do first is uh, on the screen here, I'm gonna take my big ugly face off and I'm gonna put this and I'm gonna put the table here and I'm gonna send it over. Okay, so we're gonna be using Betaflight as well. And so obviously I'm gonna go through the steps of what I would do. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and this is a brand new board, I did, uh, 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 Sorry, pretend the uh, pads, but let me go ahead, just plug this board in and you can watch the screen here. And we're gonna go ahead and do a connection and we're gonna verify uh, that what version of our software. So I'm gonna type the word version and hit okay. So we're running the um, beta flight, uh, the new, pretty much the newest, ver uh, no we're not, we're not running the newest version at all. I haven't updated this at all. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and type exit. Sorry, I'm getting all my boards mixed up, so let me go ahead and click disconnect. Let me turn my phone on silent. Everybody's trying to reach me. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna flash it, right? And we saw on the version option there that we're using the bracing. So I'm gonna go ahead and flash it with this one. So I'm gonna click load firmware. I'm gonna flash the board real quick and it should be done shortly here. All right, so as soon as that's done, we'll get ready to go. And then I can get all the equipment ready here. And I'm going to show you very quickly how to bind using uh, iBus on this board. And then you can apply this towards any other board that you're using for the most part. Okay. <clears throat> One of the main things, though, while this is doing this, I do want to show you, and this is a mistake that I make often, and I've got to learn to correct myself on it, is I always associate the yellow wire with SBus. So in this case, I associated, uh, in this case, it's different. This is a PPM wire and not an iBus or SBus wire. The iBus SBus wire is actually the white wire. And so um, make sure not to make the mistake I seem to make. And if you do, just swap the wires out. Let me wind these up real quick. In fact, if you're not gonna use PPM, you could um, really just take this and you can save the wire if you want, but to just limit uh, how much you're, you're using here, uh, we can just go ahead and lift, very gently lift the last tab up that has the yellow wire in it and try to remove the yellow wire altogether. And you have to be very careful not to break the tab because you wanna be able to reuse it again if you want. So just try to lift it up enough to grab the yellow wire. Unless you're gonna be using PPM, there's really no sense in having it in there. So let's grab that up and then let's pull it out. There we go. And what we'll do is, I mean, we're gonna leave the wire intact, right? So we can save it, like just set it aside. You can always insert it back in. Now we're gonna press that tab back down so we can clear uh, inserting this back into the receiver. And then I'll just probably widen these up like normal, like so. All right, now. Our flashing is done on the flight controller, so we're gonna go ahead and connect to it now. All right. And so what we wanna do is, um, on, the, on the board itself, right, and I'm, I think maybe I'll make the screen bigger here, so let me do this and this, and this will probably be easier. So on the board itself, uh, what we're looking at is um, we're gonna use the ports here, and we're gonna use the following. Uh, this is your ground, this is your five volt, and this is your um, UART3TX, okay? And so this is where you're basically going to uh, or you are three, I'm sorry, this is your receiver. So this is where you're going to be uh, receiving your signal, okay? So you're gonna plug into the UART three here. Let me just check something. I wanna check what they screened on this. Uh, yeah, so that's my apologies there. I, uh, this is obviously you're gonna use the RX because you're actually receiving the data from the transmitter. And there, uh, so anyway, so you're gonna plug into the UART three RX and you're gonna use the five volt and ground. So I'm gonna just go ahead and solder that up real quick. Uh, and uh, just get this kind of this project on the way and I'm always going to start from the outside in so I'm not crossing over my solder points so let me just go ahead and just gently uh, go ahead and make the first solder there we go okay and then the second one will be our 5 volt and our third one will be our ground okay so now we have our three wires connected, and you probably don't want to do this with the USB plugged in, uh, depending on how careful you are with your soldering. Okay, so that's plugged in now, right? So the next thing we want to do is on Betaflight, um, now I can zoom out here, and I'll show you on, on Betaflight side, just try to watch that screen. 
Maybe I can make it a little bit bigger. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can do that. Uh, let's do uh, picture in picture. There, I'm gonna just try to make this a little bit bigger and maybe I'll move it to the top of the screen there. That may be easier for you, okay? So watching beta flight, what we're gonna do. Um, I am going to close this and bear with me a second. I'm gonna open this and I am going to add the computer. So bear with me. And this way you guys can watch exactly how I'm doing it. Okay, let's see if we can get that done. There we go. Let's see if this will work. Okay, so let me make this screen somewhat the same. There we go. All right, so that's our website, obviously not Betaflight, but I'm gonna go ahead and open Betaflight right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and connect. And there's our, uh, there's our flight controller. And so on the ports, we're gonna activate RxUart3, and we're gonna click Save and reboot that. All right, and then what we're gonna do is go to our Configuration tab, and we're gonna scroll down until we find our receiver uh, mode, and we're gonna select Serial Based. And then under our provider, we're gonna go ahead and just select iBus and click Save, okay? And that's gonna save and reboot. Now that that's done, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my receiver. All right, and there it is. And I'm gonna turn this over because I believe the light blinking is gonna be on this side. I want you guys to watch this, okay? And I'm using an AC to DC converter, so let me kind of swing this around. There we go. And I'm gonna get my AC and DC converter ready so that I can just attach to the flight controller this way, okay? And I'm gonna power it up, but before I power it up, what I want you to do is I want you to grab your uh, Evolution, hold the power button down to turn it on, and here's what you're gonna to need to be doing on this, okay? First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click your menu button right here. Oops, I guess I did that already, but here it goes. Click it, and then go to your, um, scroll with your finger until you go to, uh, and what we wanna do is we wanna look at a few different things. So let me kinda of get you in here and show you exactly what I wanna do. First thing I wanna do is I wanna click output mode, okay? And we're gonna be using iBus, so make sure that you tap iBus, okay? If you select S bus, you'll get something here. Click okay, just go ahead and make sure iBus is selected right? And that's all you need to worry about. And then click your back arrow, right? Now, if you change it, I already had that in here, but let me show you what happens if you change it. If you're changing it from what you already had, it'll ask you if you're sure. Just go ahead and click yes. So now we're going to go back. So we're going to go to output mode, I bus, okay, back. And then it's going to say, are you sure? Click yes. Now we're, now we've got this thing set up for output to be I bus, right? Now what we want to do is we want to go into binding mode, okay? So click RX bind and let it just sit there. On your receiver, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find your little bind button right here. Uh, wait a minute, where is it? Yeah. Just want to make sure I click the right thing. So here's your bind button, and it's right on the back right here, right? So just hold it down, okay, and power up. And what you're going to see is on the back end, you're going to see a slow blinking light. When it's blinking slow like that, you can let go of the bind button, okay? And you can then stop your binding here by clicking the back arrow and back arrow again, go to your home screen, and now you can turn off your flight controller, okay? And so when I lose the power to my flight controller, uh, I don't have my, uh, I don't have anything set right now. So here's what I wanna do now. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my receiver to make sure that I've got a good connection here. And here it goes. I'm gonna turn on my flight controller and you're gonna see the red light blinking, right? Slowly, that means it does not have a connection yet. Now, what we do then is we go ahead and power up our radio and you're gonna see it automatically link. And here's what we're gonna do in beta flight. In beta flight, we're gonna to go to our receiver tab and I'm gonna select the receiver the way I would normally run it, which would be like this, click save. Uh, and I would have to make the adjustments here. But if you leave it the way the default was at uh, ADTR, let me click save. And you can see now that we have our input set uh, for our IBUS. So that's pretty much it. All right, guys, all you have to do is put your black, red, and white wires ground, 5 volt, and iBus. Make sure to go to your configure, make sure you go to your ports tab, turn on UART 3, and then make sure to go to your configuration and drop down and change it to serial based under receiver mode, and then select iBus, and just click save and reboot, and you've got it all set right there, okay? That's pretty much all it takes to do it, and one thing I will show you is if you were to power off your transmitter right now, you're going to see the red light start blinking here, okay? Now let me show you what it looks like if you try to turn on a new one and it has no binding at all, right? So if you were to hold the button down, the bind button on the back, 
and uh, you flipped on the power switch, you're going to see this rapid, uh, let me see if I can get this, hold on, I missed the button here. So you're going to see this rapid blinking light, and I'll show you here in just a second. So watch, you see how it's blinking rapid right now? That means it's got nothing. It's, it, it has not been bound, there's nothing to bind it to, and even if I turn the radio on right now, okay, what you're going to notice is there's still nothing. So if you see that, You've already got it in binding mode, and you do it where the flight controller is on first. Just hit your uh, menu options here and go to, uh, where is my RX bind? Here it is. Hit RX bind, and you're automatically going to see the quick blinking stop, and it's going to go to a slow blinking red. That means you're bound. You can quick hit the back button, and if we go back now, your red blinking is now solid, and you can see that you have stick movement on beta flight, and everything's working good. Okay? That's it, guys. Uh, sorry, I wanted to make this uh, kind of a quick video. It's very simple. Uh, we made it almost under 10 minutes. Um, if you have any questions about this, let me know. But that's how you bind this. And, uh, and uh, take care. If you have any questions, hit me up at targetcyclonefpv.com. If not, safe flying, guys. God bless. Bye.